Hello everyone, my name is Smithy and welcome back to RuneScape for Dummies. So in this video we're going to be going through Jad or the Fire Cape. We're going to be going through the uh, gear setup, the inventory setup, hotkey setup, um, where to stand, um, what rounds, what prayer you need to use. Um, and also, uh, we're also going to be going through a, um, a kill of Jad as well. Um, not going to be live commentary, I'm going to be commentating over my first kill and we're going to be going from the round just before Jad to killing Jad. Um, so, to first of all, go through our gear setup. Let me just load up. Okay, so to go through our uh, gear setup, I went with a imbued Slayer Helm. Uh, this is beneficial if you're on task. I didn't do mine on task, but I found it was a bit more tankier than an Archer's Helm. Um, I've got an imbued Slayer Helm. You get plus 15% range increased damage if you're on task. So if you can get Jad on task, it's going to give you a bit of a boost there. Um, I then had an Amulet of Power, because at the time that was my best in slot. Um, I've now got an Amulet of Glory, which would be a um, uh, an upgrade in that slot. Um, I had an uh, Ava's Accumulator, you know you know what an Accumulator does, picks up all your all your bolts for you. Um, I just used Broad Bolts for all of, the, um, all of the cave, bar the last one just before Jad and for Jad. On that uh, last one, I swapped that when you get the two mages. Um, I swapped over to my Diamond Bolts Enchanted. Um, just because when Jag came, I didn't have to worry about swapping then. I can just I had it good to go. I was ready to fight him. And we were, were happy days. So I switched over to them when I was fighting Jad. And for uh, round 62 as well. Um, I then was using the... I've just tried to swap that. There we go. Um, I was also using the Rune Crossbow. Um, some people might use the Carol's Crossbow. Because it is a bit of a machine gun or a blowpipe. But, you know... They're not easy to come by, especially a fucking blowpipe. But Rune Crossbow did the job, um, you know, did enough damage to kill him <laughs> before he killed me. Um, I also had a Black Dehyde body for, I think, three or four of my attempts. I actually was wearing a Green Dehyde body. That seemed to work fine too. It's just I got that upgrade and it was a little bit more damage. So really the body doesn't really matter. Um, I then was using a rune kite shield. You could use a crystal shield if you have one. Um, I did, but had hardly any charges in it for while I, when I was doing Jad. Uh, so I just went with the rune, rune kite shield. Again, did the job. Uh, I then used the Verax plate skirt, which was for sort of tanking um, attacks. You could replace that with like Darok's legs or, or Torag's legs, for example. Tanky legs are probably what you well, definitely what you need for this because. You need your, rain, your, your your plus range, but also you need to be absorbing some of the damage that you potentially could take. So you need some tank legs. I went with Varric's Plate Skirt, did the job. Very nice. Happy days. Um, I also had Barrow's Gloves. If you don't have Barrow's Gloves, Van Braces will do. Um, your best in slot gloves for range, essentially. And then for boots, I was lucky enough to get uh, a Zami D High boot drop in a hard clue. Um, I am an Iron Man, by the way. I, I, Probably should give the by the way, by the way bullshit, but there you go. Um, you could replace them with whatever your best in slot range uh, boots are. You could have snakeskin ones, for example. Um, and then for my ring slot, you might be looking at that going, why the fuck has he got an Explorer's Ring 2? The Explorer's Ring 2 has two massive benefits. One, it gives you plus one prayer. You need loads of prayer for, for doing a, um, a fire cape run, i found. Um, and also, you can recharge your run energy. Which, if you run out of run, and you're being chased by one of the fucking round, uh, the one of the boys in the in in the uh, the waves, you don't want to get clobbered. So having something that can recharge your run three times up to like seventy percent or something stupid, it's a win-win, fam. Just get it, just put it on. You could put on. You don't need like if you're a hardcore, you don't need a ring of life because you're not going to die. If you die, it's 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 not a permanent death, so you don't lose your status. You don't lose your items either. This Explorer's Ring, unless you've got an Archer's Ring, which, all right, take that. But we ain't all got Archer's Rings. Explorer's Ring 2, the new meta, lads. That's all I'm saying, the new meta. But that's my equipment setup. You could swap out the Rune Kite Shield with whatever your best in slot shield is. Um, and you could swap out the Slayer's Helm for a Archer's Helm or a Niz, whatever it is, that helm that you get from the second Fremi quest. Or even if you got the top tier one, but if you got that, you're probably not looking at a scuff guide, are you? Um, and then for the amulet, amulet of um, glory. Um, they're the main real upgrades, I'd say. Um, and also, if you've got a better crossbow, 
you know. But again, you're not looking at a scuff guide if you've probably got a better crossbow than that. Uh, so, to go through the inventory, I went with six sea turtles. Don't eat them until you get to uh, Jad. They're literally just there to sponge the healers. The healers start hitting you for tens. Munch those bad boys. Seriously, they give you, I think it's plus 21 or 22 health, which is more than a shark. If you can get your hands on them, happy days. If not, sharks will do fine. Um, I then filled my inventory of prayer pots. I see so many guides, like before I did my um, my fire cape, I saw so many guys that saying, oh, you need to use brews, you need to use super restores. Bin them off. You don't need them. They're too high a herb law level for an Iron Man to, if you want to go and get an early fire cape. Prayer pots are fine. You know, prayer pots are fine. You're not going to lose any stat level, any stats. You don't need to restore any of them. You just need to check on your prayer. You could bring a holy wrench if you've done run deal, if you're struggling for prayer pots, uh, which gives you plus one prayer for every sip. You could do that. Happy days, again. I keep saying happy days, but it's chill. I know I stressed out when I did my first fire cape. Now I look at it and go, oh, I don't know what I was getting stressed out about. It's not that hard. It's just flicking your prayer on jab. The rest of it's easy. Um, so, rest of it, prayer pots, bar, like I said before, I had my enchanted diamond bolts, which I swapped out for the 62nd and 63rd, which is the Jad round, um, for that increased damage, because there's a 5% chance or 25% chance of hitting through their def whatever their defense is, um, and then, this is another thing that I learned maybe th uh, my third attempt in, was blood spells, so blood spells, especially, well, blood burst more specifically, blood burst, regenerates your health so during the the ways before jad you don't need to eat any of your food you can just use the once you've killed obviously the majors or the rangers that are actually going to start doing your damage and you've got the other one safe spotted i will get to the safe spotting trick that i used um you're not going to be taking any damage drop all your food on the floor take off all your armor that's going to reduce your, your your magic and just use blood spells on them because it will start regenerating your health because for every damage you do you get a certain percentage of that back in your health. So every time you attack, you heal. It makes sense? Simple. If not, look up on the wiki blood spells. Blood burst, lifesaver. You don't need to bring a load of food. I see loads of people using purple sweets. Purple sweets, if you're an Iron Man, are a pain in the ass to grind because you've got to keep doing hard clues or medium clues, whatever, you, whatever clue it is you're getting them in. Um, and then if you're on a normal account, Two and a half K a sweet, fuck off. I'm not buying loads and loads and loads and loads and loads of purple sweets for that money. What am I made of money? Um, blood spells. I cannot stress enough. Blood spells are vital. If you haven't gone and got the ancient spell book, which is Desert Treasure, go and do it. It's a pain in the ass quest, but boy is it worth it. Do it. Um, Hotkeys. Okay. That's the next one I want to cover. So, controls. Here you go. I've got my F1 set to my inventory. I've got my F2 set to my prayer and F3 to my spell book. So F1, you've got your inventory. F2, you've got your prayer. And F1, F3, you've got your spell book. The spell book is only really useful when you're doing the waves. When you're on Jad, you're going to want to be easily able to switch between your inventory and your prayer because you're going to need to sip and you're also going to need to heal if, you're he if the healers are doing damage. And also, you're going to need to switch between your prayers when Jad's attacking you. I have a mouse that has um, uh, extra keys on it, and I've bo I've bound F1 to one of my keys and F2 to my other, which means that I'm not using as many hand movements. Which is, you know, when you when you're nervous and you know you got you got jad hands, you want to be moving your hands as, as less as possible. So if you've got buttons on your mouse that you can configure, set it to F1, set it to F2. If not, with your left hand or your right hand, depending on how you, you know, control your computer. Um, F1, F2, easy, look at that, effortless, effortless, and also when you get to Jad, start moving everything around so you don't have to move your mouse that much, so for example, if I, I, mean, I normally get down to about six prayer pots when I get to Jad, I only use two of them max, maybe two and a half when I, get to, when I got to Jad, if I moved everything so I'm only within sort of that radius, I, you don't have to stress moving around, you've got some time when Jad's doing his attacks, you know, flick back, eat, flick back, pray, whatever, but move it all down so you're not moving, you're not needing to do as many mouse movements, or not having to spend as much time moving your mouse to something, so if, so for example, if I was, I didn't have those keys configured, and I needed to switch to range, I think I'll quickly go back to my inventory if I need to sip, I've got to go back to prayer to quickly go and 
you know, and you, like I just did there, I just accidentally misclicked on that, and that's you know could cause you to take damage quicker as you miss your prayer swap. So function keys using them, those little bad boys. Look at that. Happy days. <laughs> I'm gonna keep saying fucking happy days. Um, but yeah, that's that's really the inventory setup and the um, you know key setup and gear setup. Uh, I mean, if you're interested, those are my stats, but they aren't the stats that I used when I killed Jab, which is a bit misleading. I do apologise for that. Um, I think I had about 77 defence and 68 prayer, something like that. Um, but you, you I mean, you could, you've seen people doing it on level 3 accounts, so you really don't need the stats um, in that case. So, next we're going to be going through the safe spot. So a lot of the guides that I've seen tell you to go and sit in Italy Rock. I didn't. Um, <laughs> this is for the waves. Um, for the waves, I went and sat on what they call Claw Rock. I will put a diagram up on the screen now. Claw Rock, I stood on the left-hand side of it when you're looking at the map. And you stand right down in the corner. Um, so it drags everything towards you. But they also get, they get caught on that little crevice at the top. And if anything did come from the left of where you're standing... Just run round, get them uh, hooked on whatever corner, and then run back round, and they'll just get caught at the top again. Um, prioritise mage over range. So as soon as you get to um, level, I think it's 31. Yeah, from from wave 31, do not turn mage off until all the mage is dead in that wave, because they will fuck you. Literally, do not turn it off. <laughs> when you... When you uh, get to the rounds where it's a ranger and a mage, prioritize killing the mage and then kill the uh, the range and then kill the major, because you can spun you can tank the range hits, but the mage hits you will not be able to tank. So prioritize killing the range over the mage, but only pray mage. Um, then kill the majors and leave all of the melees safe spotted, so they can't get to you. And then if you've taken any damage from the range boys. You can use your blood spells and get that health back on all the melee people who are all trapped on a corner looking like right mugs. So it, that, that's a little tip that I never saw in a guide. You know, using the blood spells to regen on the melees that are just, you know, standing there gauntless, not being able to hit you. Um, also, whenever there's um, the bats, the level what are they, level 22, level 22 bats, regardless if they hit you or not, or hit you for zeros or not, they drain your prayer. So prioritise them if there's anything coming towards you. Just, you know, pick them off. They've only got... 10 HP, so you should be able to one-bang them. Um, and then, what else we got? Uh, uh, that's really everything for monsters, to be honest. I'm not going to be going through, I'm not going to be showing the waves in this video, but they are pretty simple. It's just a case of safe spotting and making sure you've got mage on when there's mages inbound, which is from waves 31 onwards. So as soon as, before the round starts, put, turn your mage back on. Then when the round starts, you're good to go. Um, yeah, and also don't get too close to them because they will spank you. <laughs> um, yeah, I think that's really all the prep you need or you need to know before you do your first fire cave. Um, I will be going through a Jad kill, like I said. Um, but yeah, let's get into the kill. Another thing just before we get into the kill as well, you're going to want to turn auto retaliate off so you don't want really to get dragged out of your safe spot um, because, you know, you're going to take unnecessary damage. Um, also, when we get to Jad, I'm going to turn on long range, um, just because then we can position ourselves and we're not going to get dragged closer when we're using things like uh, using rapid, for example. Um, it might be less DPS, but in the long in the long term, it, you know, you're not going to be taking unnecessary damage, and you don't have to stress if you get dragged out of where you're where you've positioned the um, healers. Okay, so just before we do get into the kill, you can see here I'm on the claw rock uh, right now. Um, and you can see that I've got the, um, the melees, the YT, Miyokot, whatever the fuck they are, the big boy melee people. I've got them caught on this corner, and you can see I've got both of them, and here I'm actually using the, uh, blood spells to get my, uh, health back. And I've taken off all my armor as well, and you can see I've got back to, uh, full HP, which is 87 in this case. Um, like I said, I've kind of moved everything down to home in my inventory, so I'm not using many, um, many, uh, Mouse movements. Okay, so we're just about to finish killing the last melee person on the round just before Jad, round 62. And you can see I've turned on mage, so I'm ready for when the mages spawn. 
I'm going to run out into the middle of the map because where the orange um, major spawns is where Jad's going to spawn. So I'm currently looking around to see where Jad is, uh, where that orange spawner is, and we can see that he is over in the eastern side of the um, arena. So I'm going to prioritize to killing the darker red um, uh, major before I kill the other one, because um, then we'll be positioned to when Jad spawns. So I'm going to kill this one. Um, you can see I've actually switched over to those adamant bolts as well. Um, not using the broad bolts anymore. Okay, so I'm about to kill the um, sort of lighter coloured major, which after that has died, Jad will start to spawn. And we'll see he'll spawn um, just east of where I'm standing in that kind of square shape between the two rocks. So while I'm facing Jad, I'm actually going to turn on Eagle Eye as well, just to increase the uh, DPS I'm doing. And you want to start off with range as well. So when Jad puts his legs up in the air like that, you want to switch to mage. You can see there that I fucked that up a little bit. And when he stomps, you want to pray range. So when his legs are in the air, I call it when his leggies are in the air, you pray mage. When he stomps on down, you want to pray range. So here we can see pray range. Remember to keep... Also turn off auto retaliate while you're doing it all as well. Turn to see how I've turned on eagle eye. Okay, legs in the air. That's a mage, that's a mage attack. So pray mage. He's stomping, which is prey range. Stomping again, still prey and range. And when he gets down to half health, he will spawn the healers. And um, I'll show you how we're going to deal with them as well. I've also got long range turned on, um, just so I don't get dragged out of uh, where I feel comfortable standing. And also when I'm dealing with the healers, um, I can still actually hit him with not having to run too close to fuck up where I've positioned the healers. That's quite a big thing that I never saw in any guides as well. Put on put on long range. You might not do as much damage, but it, it's safer. <laughs> okay, legs in the air. Then we can see we swatch over to the range, uh, the mage uh, protection, and he's still got those legs in the air. Bit of mage defense. Still got those legs in the air. Put them down, son. Still got him in the air. Then he's stomping, so pray range. See, like I switch over using the uh, hotkeys. And we can see that the healers are starting to spawn as well. So when you're dealing with the healers, you want to tag one, watch his attack, pray that attack. Wait for him to attack, sort out your prayer, tag a healer, watch his attack. Pray against his attack and then tag another healer. So you never want to be tagging too many healers in one um, attack from Jad. You want to only do one. You can also see that I got pretty lucky that one actually got caught on me. <laughs> so it couldn't actually get to Jad to heal it, which was a nice little perk. Um, but, you know, don't stress. You've got, at this point, you should have enough uh, prayer and stuff and food sorted. So you don't need to rush tagging the healers. Um, but like, like I said... Sort out your your prayer against whatever attack is coming from Jad. Once you've got that sorted, attack a healer. Then look back at Jad, see what the attack he's going to do, pray to defend against that, then tag a healer. You don't need to tag multiple and rush yourself. You've got enough time, calm it easy, you know, easy breezy. And now you can see that I've got all the healers tagged in a nice row in front of me, and um, I'm only taking an attack from actually one of them. So now it's just a case of killing Jad. Just watch your prayer. Watch what attack he's doing. You can see here he's got his leggies in the air again. That's a mage attack. Again, legs in the air, which means I can switch over and quickly take a prayer sip. There you go. Another range attack. Another range attack with a stomp. And there you go. Legs in the air. That's a mage attack. Legs in the air, mage attack. And then stomp, range. You just need to keep an eye on your prayer. Make sure, you know, you've got enough to see you through. And also watch your health as well. Because you will be, you know, the the, the healers can, um, can kind of dink you a little bit. But, you know, you've got tanky stuff on. If you're going with the same setup as me with your Verax plate skirt and the Slayer helm. Um, to give you a bit more defensive bonus against them. And 
I think that's the last hit. I know two. I think it was two more hits, if I remember correctly. Yeah. I do. I do like hitting his arrows. <laughs> but again, you don't need to stress. You can see I've when I go back to my inventory, I've got loads of stuff left. And if you're following the same, if you're kind of around the same sort of stats, and you're following the same thing as me, you will too. And there we go. Jad is defeated. And you don't need to worry about the healers. They disappear. And there we go. Fire cape. I hope you guys found this guide useful. Um, it's kind of a bit different to guides that I've seen currently on YouTube. They don't really go with a sc real scuffed out uh, kind of gear setup and inventory setup. Um, and things like, you know, the auto retaliate, turning that off. I never heard that in a guide before. Um, and uh, blood spells. I'm going to keep saying blood spells and you're going to get pissed off with it now. Because <laughs> I've probably said it about a million times in this video. But I can't stress enough how important they are. Um, especially through um, the, the early rounds. Um, but yeah, my, my main word of advice though is take it easy, you know, it's, it's, it, it, it look, it, it, from your first one it is difficult because, you know, you're learning it and you can see that my time was shit, but like I said, you don't need to rush it, Test, calm it easy and, uh, you'll be sailing through to get your first fire cape. But I hope you guys did enjoy this guide, I hope it is useful, good luck if you are trying to get your first fire cape, um, and if you've got any suggestions for guides that you want to see me make, or if you've got any things that you found um, useful as well when you were doing your first JAD attempt, put them in the comment section. If you are new around here, subscribe for more if you enjoyed. And um, I will see you all in the next video. Bye. Also, yeah, before anyone says, oh, look, he's got a video at the bottom, because it's my this is from my live stream. <laughs> this clip is from my live stream. If you want to go and check that out, it's Smithy TV over on Twitch. Um, and you can go and see the hot, the full kill on there. I've left the VOD on there. Um, and I have put up um, a video on the channel of the full length kill from just before the uh, uh, the um, the round before Jad. If you want to go and check that out, I'll put that in the description. But um, I'm going to stop rambling, let you guys go, and uh, good luck.